here's a dish I love to make once a year when my green beans are coming in in the garden in the summer and then my dill is still in the garden as well. Now this is a bean that I've been growing for many years and it is absolutely wonderful. I will leave a link to this particular variety at the end of the video. I did a little review on it. It is a nice tender pod and it doesn't have a lot of beans in it. So um, it's perfect for steaming or just gently boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of handfuls of these beans and then we'll head over to the garden where I want to pick up a couple of uh, dill flower heads. This particular variety of dill produces wonderful flower heads which is what I love to use for cooking. Today I'm not going to get the big flower head because I want it to reseed in my garden. So I'll leave that one, but I want to get some of the smaller flowers which come out from that main big head there, okay? And these are nice and fragile and they are full of flavor. We also call this dill pollen. So for this dish, it's real simple. I'll just grab a few stems of dill. If you don't have dill pollen or the little dill flowers, you can certainly just use dill leaves. And then we'll need a little bit of salt, some unsalted butter, a wedge of lemon and of course the green beans. So for the green beans whenever I harvest them I always leave the stem end on there that will prevent your beans from drying out until you get into the kitchen and you can use them. So I'm going to go ahead and snip off the stem end here and with the skillet I want to go ahead and put it on high and I want to boil about a couple of cups of water in here and then I'll add my green beans to it once it starts to boil and I'll put these in a single layer and I'll let these cook uh, about four minutes until I start to smell the bean and of course you can take it longer if you want it to be a little bit more tender but once I start to smell it that kind of lets me know that it's about ready. So, so I remove them to a plate where I also put them in a single layer there where they could kind of dry out a little bit so my sauce will hold better on the bean. I removed my skillet from the uh, stove eye and I reduced my stove eye to low, the lowest setting that I could get it on, and I started to go ahead and melt my butter in my pan. So I returned my pan to my stove eye and the butter melted very slowly and I added my salt. And all I'm going to do is just kind of swirl this around and get some of that water released from the butter. I want it to um, be a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to swirl it around. It took me about probably a minute um, maybe in two minutes to kind of get it to where I wanted it. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little squirt of lemon juice in here and then we can add our dill pollen. So for the dill flower head I'll just pinch it up together like that and then I just want to snip off just the little petals there at the end. Okay and we'll, I'm only going to add about two. They're full of flavor. You're going to get a lot of dill flavor just from these little two dill flower heads okay if you've not ever done this it's just wonderful I hope that you can try it next year from your garden and I'll return the beans to the pan I have turned the heat up to about medium low to medium at this point and I just want to get the beans warmed up with the sauce it takes about probably one or two minutes and there you go I did taste for seasoning they it was perfect I dried off my plate and I returned my beans to the plate and there you go they were just wonderful. They're so tender and I hope you can also try growing this bean sometime. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. You can head on over there, hit the subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.